No way! No way! Justin! <laughs> oh my goodness! What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Sephiroth okay. is out? Okay, well, hold on. Let's 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 see what he let's see what he's like in game. Okay. What? Did he just dab on us? You can't let him dab on you. I mean, he just dabbed you, on us. Let him dab on we you can't like let that? that slide, man. Let's we gotta dab on him back. All right. <laughs> now, of course, we can't let this injustice slide within the game. So, what I'll be doing is, if we can get up to one million likes, I will donate one dab for every time Sephiroth dabs in game to the Save a Dab Foundation. <laughs> But no, seriously guys, all right? Sephiroth is here within the game. I cannot be more than happy that he's finally here because uh, it, it seemed like it was gonna be a very long time before he showed up. Now, of course, after saying that, there, there are gonna be, of course, uh, quite a few things uh, about the fact that he's finally here that, of course, doesn't exactly sit right within the community, including myself as well. So I guess you could say there's pretty much an even amount of criticism about Sephiroth being in the game, um, as well as a little bit of hope towards the future in order to like possibly like reprimand that. And part of it is simply because of the fact that if you, just by simply looking at the banner for the event itself, he's called it's called the Dark Winged Warrior, which isn't exactly right when he's called the One Winged Angel of Death. I don't know about you guys, but at least to me, there's a little bit something wrong about this in my mind. Like, it just bothers me by the fact he's not he's not called his like actual nickname. And I don't know, that 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 just bothers me. For all I know, maybe there's some type of like reason they had to call it differently, but at least to me, from what I can tell with no sort of extra announcement uh, whatsoever explaining the issue, it just it just sits wrong with me. But another reason why people are kind of having issues with this event itself is that when you actually go in game two, it basically almost the entire event is just giving away Huey Dewey Louis and other EXP medals and more money medals and such. Um, and at the same time, the event is also super easy to beat. Like practically anybody can beat this event. However, what I do have to say as a positive towards this event though, is the fact that on certain stages, such as like when you fight Sephiroth, and when you fight Cloud themselves, at the very least, they have pretty significantly decent amount of HP within the easy mode of this that it makes me and quite a lot of people within the community uh, have hopes about the fact that maybe there might be a critical or proud mode popping up fairly soon. Uh, kind of like how they did with the Summer Adventures. A uh, little kind of quest line thing that we had last like what was it last month or so or two months ago or something something along those lines how later on after like a week or so has gone by they'll release harder versions and that's kind of what i'm hoping for because at least to me sephiroth is supposed to be one of the most iconic battles in the entire kingdom hearts franchise and to be able to just easily cream him with no challenge whatsoever it, it just doesn't sit right with me and with that hope of having some critical proud mode quests appear later on this month i'm also hoping that the rewards for those modes actually significantly increase as well personally for me i really wanted to just see sephiroth appear in the chasm of challenges instead so that way he's just permanently within the game and that anybody who plays the game whether it be a new or veteran player especially newer players who may let's say for example who decide to start playing the game a year from now it'd be really nice to have like these permanent iconic stage bosses just within the chasm of challenges for people to always come back to and replay if they want to or for newer players like a year from now or something they can always have a chance to be able to 
participate in some of the most you know memorable iconic battles of the franchise as well because not everybody is playing kingdom hearts right now for all we know they could start getting into kingdom hearts many years from now as well so at least in my mind it makes more sense to put some of the most iconic challenges and stuff within the chasma challenges in my opinion that would just be more exciting more fun to actually do but other than that that's it for today guys i kind of just want to go over the sephiroth fight itself it's honestly really short um i kind of wanted to do a stream about it but the only reason why i didn't do a stream about it was simply because of the fact that i heard from people playing the jp version of the game that it was just way too easy so and i, I figured because of the fact I, of how easy it was going to be from what i was hearing um i was going to beat the thing in like what 20 minutes or so so i i didn't really feel like that was worth doing a stream for but other than that, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when to upload more videos such as this one. I'm sorry that this video took so long to make for today. I legitimately spent like four hours just creating the first like minute and a half of this video. So it took me a while to put together. And I still have quite a few other videos such as like the, the Demix uh, advice and stuff for the banner. Other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Team Cross Nation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.